this video, we're going to create a for loop with an if statement that splits out records in a data set. So you can see here we have a data set of orders, and in column A, we have three different branches for these orders. And what we want to do is create code that will split out these records for each branch and put just the records for each branch on a separate tab. So we want to get into the VBA editor window by hitting Alt F11. Anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click, go to insert, and then module. We'll call this subroutine split and begin by defining some variables. First variable is going to be called WB. It's going to be as the data type workbook. Then we're going to have one called WS. It's going to be as the data type worksheet. This is going to represent the workbook we're in now, and WS is going to represent the orders sheet we're currently in. Now we're going to add new worksheets for each of the three branches. So I'm going to copy and paste this three times. And I'm just going to call these worksheets one, two, and three. I'm going to have a variable called last row. It's going to be as the data type long because it's a number and that's just going to represent the last row in our order sheet that contains values so that is going to be the ending point of our for loop so now we need to define our workbook and worksheet variables so those are object variables and begin with the keyword set so our workbook variable is going to be equal to this workbook our worksheet variable it's going to be equal to our workbook variable and then worksheets orders. We're going to add three worksheets for each of our three branches. So they're going to be equal to our workbook variable and then worksheets and then the add method. And we want each worksheet to come after the previous one. So in the add method, I'm going to input a comma to get to that second argument that says after. And we want this first one to be after our orders worksheet. So I'm going to just copy this and do a similar thing here. Now we have our last row variable, which that is going to be equal to our orders worksheet. And then we want to use the cells for a range reference, but we want this to be dynamic. So the first input is the row index or the row input. So to make this dynamic to get the last row, what we want to do is use rows and then count. Now that will take us to the very bottom of our entire spreadsheet and since we know we're always going to have values in column a or the first column our column index is going to be one from there what we want to do is end xl up and that will take us from the bottom of column a up to the last row that contains values dynamically from there we want to return that row number so that it will always dynamically get us the last row containing values so now we're on to our for loop so the for loop what that will do is repeat a series of steps in just a few lines of code you define a beginning and ending point you want that to start and finish at so it begins with the keyword for and then you define a counter variable which most folks use i and then our beginning point well our order sheet is where we want to begin at and we want to loop through all of these records all the way to the last row so our data begins in row two and we want to go to our last row variable 
So as I said, we have an if condition here. So what we want to do is on our order sheet, if the cells, and again, we have a row and column index. And so we want this to dynamically start at our beginning point, which is going to be the counter variable starts at row two for our beginning point and we're looking at column one because that's the column containing our branch if that is equal to branch number one then we want to do something so I forgot to use the keyword then because we need to use the keyword then and then perform an action before we can do that though we need to define a sort of similar thing to our last row variable for each of the sheets so for branch one we'll call this variable next row and it is going to be equal to our worksheet one and then the cells again rows count column one we want to end Excel up get that row number but add one to it because that without that plus one it will get us to the last row containing values but if there's already a you know a row there that contains values we want to get the row below it so we add one to that what we want to do then if this condition is met in these cells is with our orders worksheet that same cell reference our counter and then one we want to resize it because we want to capture the whole row so we want it to be one row by four columns and we want to copy that and then on our worksheet one we want to get the range a but again we want it dynamic so we want range a and then the and symbol to join it to our next row whatever that may be another and symbol to join it to the rest of our range reference because it would be four columns so that would be d and then again join it to our next row variable we want to paste special and then paste excel all we want to do a similar thing for our other two branch locations so i'm going to copy this this time we need to use the keyword else if because we have a second condition so this time if it's equal to branch two then we want to find the next row on our worksheet two and paste the data into that next row on our worksheet two and repeat this for our worksheet three if the branch in that particular row is equal to branch number three now those are all of our conditions so we're going to end our if statement and then use the keyword next and then reference our counter variable to increment our loop to the next value which would be three because our starting point was at two and it will run through these conditions again and put it the next item on the appropriate sheet and keep running until we get to our last row so i'm going to hit play here and what we should see are three sheets get added with just the records for each of the three branches we have sheet one with just the records for branch one it's kind of hard to see I'll blow that up there we have sheet two with 
just the records for branch two and then sheet three with just the records for branch number three. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.